your face looks like when you're happy. Maybe some of you are happy. You guys can go hey, ahead and turn to like page 29. At Rocks Hill Elementary School in West Seattle. This one's my favorite though. These students are staying late for an important lesson. Andres, how are you feeling today? They're learning how to deal with emotions and feelings in a healthy way through art. It's a great class. They're all really engaged and they um, bring up a lot of new topics every time. And um, the curriculum is really exciting for them, I think, and it's exciting for me to, to teach them with, so. Sarah Rogers comes every week to Rocks Hill to spend an hour helping these students go through the book, Magnificent Marvelous Me. The book was created by a local nonprofit called Art With Heart. It's the first year the program is at Rocks Hill, and the response has been very positive. I really appreciate the program. It's kind of a lifesaver for us, and I'd love to see more of it for the other kids in Seattle. It's good news when emotion comes up in a moment. Art with Heart was started 20 years ago by Stephanie Lorick. She wanted to use her background as a graphic designer to help the community in a unique way. Art with Heart is a nonprofit that helps kids in crisis through creativity, and we do that through the books that we create that are based on art therapy and other therapies. Our main audience are kids who've dealt with some sort of difficulty or hardship in their life, um, ranging from divorce to cancer and everything in between. The nonprofit partners with a wide variety of groups. They're able to reach students at Rocks Hill thanks to their partner, Communities and Schools. Their books are also used in hospitals, counseling services, and much more. We might have had some tears, you know, and you guys really honored each other. They offer their partners access to their therapeutic books, direct services like offering a facilitator to teach a class, and they also offer workshops for adults. They know the key to reaching more kids is through partners. Our mission is to help kids who are in crisis. And instead of going out and trying to find all the children who are in crisis and trying to serve them, we, we recognize that they're being served by wonderful nonprofits all around the Seattle area. And so by partnering with those organizations, we can really um, help each other help the kids. And so it becomes this wonderful symbiotic relationship. More than 200 artists from around the world have donated their art for the books for free. And there are some big name artists who have contributed including the artist of the Harry Potter books. You don't know how you're feeling? But they're not just beautiful to look at. There is some very thoughtful research and strategy behind them to help children heal. Our books are based in cognitive behavioral therapy, narrative therapy, and art therapy. These are three therapies that are really known to work with kids. Um, the principles are also based on social emotional learning, which are skills that kids need in order to become successful adults, being able to get along with each other, being able to express your feelings and be assertive instead of aggressive. Since 1996, we've been able to help over 136,000 kids across the world move through their trauma. The greatest part about our organization is that our books have legs. They're able to travel across the world. We have volunteers in places like Nepal. We have volunteers in South Africa who have taken our books and implemented into these organizations that are, have been established by the local communities there. And they've been able to use our programs. Locally, Art with Heart played a major role in the healing of the children at Darrington Elementary School after the Oso mudslide hit in 2014. Two children at that school were killed. It really helped the kids to begin expressing their emotions, really big feelings that they'd experienced following the landslide, things that they hadn't had an opportunity to talk about. Um, the community was in a lot of pain. Their families were going through a lot, and I think the kids just hadn't had an opportunity to go through their own grief process. Megan Lucas had used the program before and wanted to bring it to the school. They didn't even have a school counselor before she came. And for 17 weeks, once a week, she met with each student in the school to work through Art with Heart books to help them heal. Before I started the book, I was feeling sort of like empty inside, but whenever I did the book, I was more happy. You can just get it out and not have to deal with it no more. It helped me out a lot. When Art with Heart came, it helped me like a bunch. And then after you started doing Art with Heart, then what happened? I learned how to control myself with my anger. <laughs> and um, I felt really good about myself. Watch City Stream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.